voters want to hear about issues affecting their lives, like the economy and the border. Should the campaign be pivoting on its messaging? So there's no doubt that one of the first issues that anyone will think of is the issue they think of when they're at their kitchen table trying to pay their bills, which is how is the economy treating them? So there is no question whatsoever that that is an important issue, which we have been in the process of addressing. We still need to do more. I would not separate that from the issue of what is at stake in terms of hard democracy. And frankly, I think most people don't think of it in the context of democracy as much as freedom. The freedom of a woman to make decisions about her own body. Um, the freedom to love who you love openly and with pride. The freedom to be able to be free from gun violence. Um, these are fundamental freedoms that are at stake right now. The freedom to have access to... ...and neighbors will decide if the child is ready to consent, the community and the child, if the child so desires to have intercourse with an adult. And do I feel that some adult... that some minors are more equipped to engage in sexual activity with adults and they've not chosen this attraction just as the rest of us have not chosen whatever our attraction is you don't get to choose to be heterosexual or to be gay or, or whatever you're not you're allowed to like, you're not allowed to stop it yeah, yeah. yeah no we're not going to call him that we're going to call him maps no not attracted persons no. so don't judge people just because they want to have sex with a body Well, she's outside at a track with some little booty shorts on. Her hip to thigh ratio don't even, they not even close. So at the end of the day, women are having the choice to put fake, whatever, silicone, whatever, to create their bodies to look like this. So make it make sense. I thought women don't have freedom to do what they want to do with their bodies. That's what Kamala fighting for. And um, that was just it for me. How old are you? 34. 34? Mm -hmm. How many kids you got? I got three. You got three? Yep. How many baby daddies? I have three. Jesus yep. Christ. <laughs> um, how do you feel about celibacy? Well, respect if that's, you know, the decision you're making and, you know, we can have conversations about it, things like this, but you want to get to know the person before you just, like, soul ties is a real thing. You don't want to attach your soul to someone and then, so I respect it, honestly. These days, uh, in the name of instant gratification, sex is such a, a trivial thing. It shouldn't, you know, um, Six. People here in Phoenix and across the country, but especially here in Phoenix, they're, they're struggling with the, the costs of, of living, um, especially when it comes to just having rental prices and, and the cost of homes. People in my generation are struggling to be able to make that happen. How would you go about making renting and owning a home more affordable? So one of the biggest things, one of the biggest problems is the price of energy, uh, the price of your air conditioning, your heating, all of these different things having to do with energy. I'll be bringing that down. I'll be bringing some states down much more than 50 percent that's going to have a huge positive impact on inflation and it's also going to make it really good for people the other thing we have to bring interest rates down because you want to buy a home number one you can't get money number two you're paying 10 percent 11 percent 12 percent but we're going to start with drill baby drill we're going to get those prices way down that's going to have a huge impact that's what started the inflation and now we have the worst i think the worst inflation anyone's ever seen in this country really rig the system against working Americans. You have a president in Donald Trump who over his four years saw inflation average not four or three, but 1.9%. And then you have a man by the name of Joseph Biden who over his three and a half years has seen inflation average 5.3. And you can look at the individual, whether it's, you know, what core tenant of Bidenomics, whether it's the Inflation Reduction Act, whether it's student loan cancellations, whether it's the American Rescue Plan, whether it's the war on American energy, whatever Bidenomics policy it is, it is profoundly inflationary. This administration has done absolutely nothing to bring more workers back into the fold to actually support the American worker and has done everything in their power to really rig the system against working Americans. Clear. Bidenomics is working. Question, is this the type of world you want? Now, if you pay attention to every video that I put inside this video, I basically 
gave you what Kamala Harris asked for. That's what I did. She said she want women to have the choice to do what they want to do with their bodies. Well, you seen a video that said there was a woman on a dating show. The man asked her how many kids do she have? She has three kids by three different men. That sounds like that woman made a choice. She decided to have three kids by three different men. And then she had the audacity to the other guy to ask him, say, hey, how do you feel about celibacy? So you mean to tell me you don't have three kids by three different men. And then you have the gall to ask me, how do I feel about celibacy? My question is, how do you feel about celibacy? That's the question. Because <laughs> by effort, it is evident you don't believe in celibacy. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about it. Now, not only that, you see this young lady out at the park with her booty shorts on, out in the free, <laughs> breathing free air, out having control over her body, jumping around, prancing around with these two little shorts on. And she decided to go get uh, some a pillow. She went and got a pillow put in her behind. Yeah, silicone, pillow, cement, a foreign object in her behind. But I thought women didn't have control of their bodies. This proves that women do. Then you see Megan Thee Stallion twerking, shaking her butt at a Kamala Harris event. Let's note that. Out in the open, freely. I thought women didn't have the choice to do what they want to do freely with their body. All of those sounds like women choices that real men don't like. Okay. That's the word that Kamala want. Women had a choice. They already got it. And by the looks of it, they ain't been making the best decisions. All right. Here we go. I want We want a world where people can love freely who they love. Well, you seen a video. You seen a video where people in this world, in the United States, one of them is a counselor that said that. People cannot control who they love. And Kamala Harris said she wants a world where people can love who they love. Well, guess what? There are a lot of people out here. There are groups of people that love minors. You heard these sick individuals. Look up MAPS. M-A-P-S, Minor Attracted Personality Syndrome, whatever it is. And then look up N-A-M-B-L-A, National Association of Men, Boy, Love Association. Yeah. These are real groups. These are real people. This is really going on. No, I don't want people loving whoever they desire to love because from that from that woman that is a licensed counselor, a therapist, her expertise said that those individuals cannot control it. Then we already know that one of the major issues in today's society is inflation. When Kamala, Ar when Kamala Harris is asking about inflation, she don't have an answer. She goes around the corner, down the street, and she go out of town and don't come back. She went to Dubai. They didn't come back. That's where she went. But Donald Trump tells you exactly, I'm going to decrease the cost of energy. That alone is going to bring what? Inflation down. Not only that, I had somebody with receipts. A finance guy tell you that under Trump, it was 1.9%. Under Joe Biden, it was 5.3%. And everything in the Biden package that was supposed to bring inflation down didn't. Because let me give y'all some free game for all the slow people. Because I know y'all don't do y'all research like I do. When you do debt cancellation for student loans, somebody got to pay for it. And when you look at the loan one, loan term, go fact check me. Guess what? It is going to bring up the price of inflation by 15 to 27 points. How I know? Because I did my research. They say black man don't read. But well, this one does.